Hey everyone, Sargon Kizron here, Technical Adoption Manager for VMware, VMware by Broadcom now. And what I want to get into today is lifecycling the ARIA Suite Lifecycle Manager appliance itself. This is a lightweight photon appliance that's deployed out in the environment that helps manage your cloud management product, which is ARIA. So all the different ones, right? So what we're going to do here is we've got our ARIA Suite Lifecycle Manager. And a couple of things I want to show is under settings, we have a system upgrade that we can perform that actually upgrades the version of Lifecycle Manager itself. Now, with that version upgrade, you also get a product support pack update, which basically is a, you can view it as a roll up of previous and updated patches or also for, for all cloud management components that then get applied to the appliance so that you can go out there and obtain those downloads and go through your updates. So whenever there's a, for instance, new version of RE operations, well, that gets released in a product support pack, and then a product support pack gets pushed out, you know, updated on the appliance. So I always recommend, obviously, take precaution, test in the test environment, uh, work with, you know, if you guys have a technical adoption manager, definitely work with them or the account team. but here on our docs, and keep in mind, docs are subject to change. We've got the 8.16 release notes. And then we also have product support pack release notes, which you could see there's a support pack one and a two for 8.16. There was one not too long ago released. And it kind of tells you there what the reason of the release was. It tells you, hey, this release has support for VMware RE operations 8.17.1. So. And just to kind of give some further, this is the VM here running in vSphere. So what I'm going to want to do first is a system upgrade. And here we can see that we do a check for update. You'll see how we want to go upgrade to. You can upgrade the version to 8.16.0.4. So now let's go ahead and do, we're going to kick off a snapshot. And what's great is Aria has everything stored for us. So this should make a call out to the vCenter. And as you can see, it's already done it. And a snapshot is going to be taking place now. So snapshot's done. Now we can jump in and do our upgrade. So we'll click upgrade here. Yes, I took the snapshot and run the pre check. So we got a warning about Identity Manager. And it is very possible Identity Manager is probably powered off on my side, but it looks as if this will let me continue with it. So, and you know what, I'll do a quick check here. It's running on my side here. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue with it. Definitely I check in your environment. This looks like there's a second page. Everything else passed, though, in terms of Total, and it's going to let us proceed with the upgrade. Everything else, majority for the appliance itself, went through just fine. So I'll go ahead and kick off the upgrade. And you'll see a status bar will come up here. You can monitor the console once it's refreshed. But we'll be monitoring here. And as I'm coming back here briefly, I just want to show you that if you remain on that web page, you'll see you'll get a what looks to be a nice, what looks to be almost like a Mac, right? I'd say that. But uh, get some status there and what's going on. And then there's our console. And we'll continue to monitor. All right, so our upgrade completed. Once that screen completes, it takes you back basically to the login page where we're going to log back in and we're going to go over to lifecycle operations. 
settings, system upgrade. And we've got a little bit of a history, right? This is when we did this upgrade here. And then let's go over to product support packs. Let's go back to settings. And we're going to check if there's an updated available product support pack. Wait for this to load. Okay, so we can see here, this is the product support pack we're on right now. For instance, we saw that ARIA Operations 8.17, that one I believe it was, was available. And here we can see that it's not available on this one. However, we have 8.16.01 product support pack and an 8.16.02, which would actually take us to 8.17.1. So now you can kind of see, if you look at RE operations here, it only took us to 8.16.1. Product support pack, the 0 0.2 will take us to 8.17.1. So now from here, I'm going to apply this version. Now, I took the previous snapshot. Should I take another snapshot? I will leave that to, you know, your best practices, right? You can take a second snapshot, certainly. If you just want to roll back the product support pack and not have to roll back the entire appliance. Being this is my home lab, I'm not too worried about it. But I'm going to go ahead and check that, submit. And we should be able to check the status of how that's coming along. And we'll monitor it. OK, so that process to applying the support pack was very similar to our appliance upgrade itself. And we'll go back here under settings. Product support pack, this should pull and show our most up to date one. And now that this is applied, basically our life cycle will be able to see our products, right? Our cloud management products, such as operations, let's say Log Insight, Bernie, all of them that are listed in there, they will allow us to go to that next version after that product support pack's been applied. So we can go out there, get the binaries for 8.17.1, and light, you can look at it as Lifecycle Manager. We'll support those products now, right? We'll see those versions. So I hope this was helpful for the everyday admin. Always continue to take precaution, snapshots, backups, highly encourage all of that. Um, if you've got a test environment, that's great. Definitely go to test first. So, and I really hope this helps you guys out. Thank you.